the feedback from the judges is so key because you're not just submitting a piece, then watching somebody else win and then thinking, well, why didn't mine? Mine looked pretty good. You're actually getting quality statements, not always positive. We ask our judges to even provide constructive criticism. The lighting in this shot was a little bit off or your sound was scratchy. Just we're looking for them to get ways that they can take that feedback and then implement it in their future projects and improve on those skills rather than just wonder, what did I do wrong? Why didn't I win? I'm interested in your perspective of the value because you've looked at so many. So first of all, it's important to know that 10 years ago or seven years ago when I got involved with STN, I was judging maybe 20 cuts. And now one category, just division one, I could have 50 cuts. How many submissions did you have for the Horror Fest? I remember being scared to look at that folder. <laughs> the Horror Fest was 557 submissions this year. And just two years ago, it was 113. So if that tells you anything about the excitement and the engagement that we're experiencing, it's pretty awesome. Okay. So that's obviously amazing growth. Yes. It used to take me an afternoon or maybe a, a work day to judge. And now my wife and I sit down in the evenings for a week, watch the cuts and discuss them together and make notes. Date night, popcorn. I love it. The feedback we try to give is one from the perspective of the whole community. There are common problems that all of the students will encounter. And those common problems, you can separate sort of the highest scoring cuts from the rest with those few indicators. And I always mention them in the comments. For example, if we're judging films, if your story doesn't have a beginning, a middle, and an end, it's a problem. But a lot of students make one scene, and that one scene is like a bite of a story, but it isn't necessarily a complete story. So that's a, a big differentiator.